What's up guys, it's Sergeant Curry Pants of the YouTube Wolfpack here. I am playing Demetrios. It is a big cynical adventure. And it was going super cheap uh, during the PlayStation Winter Sale that's going on right now. And I just kind of thought, hey, it's only 69 rands. You know what? Let me just take it. Let me try it. So let's see how this game is. Do you like toilet humor? Yes, yes I do like toilet humor. Give me all of it. Paris, a hot July night. My name is Bjorn? Bjorn, uh, oh yes. Bjorn Thonen. Sorry, I'm a bit drunk currently. Anyway, on that fateful night out. A phone call! Uh, hello? Mr. Tonin. Yeah, that's me. But who? I need to warn you. You're in grave danger. What the? Oh, I get it. A good prank. Haha. <laughs> good night. No, wait, wait. Don't. If only I had known this phone call would change my life forever. Hmm. Okay. Later that night. Okay, that's creepy. Shit. Uh, a noise. Someone in my apartment? I did the first thing that came to mind. Took a flashlight and moved towards the living room. I would not do that. I really would not. There seemed to be nothing. But then, ooh, creepy Mario man. I fell flat on the floor and fought it. <laughs> A few hours later, I woke up suddenly. That sound, the phone. I ran to pick it up. Hello? Bjorn, why the heck are you still home? Damn, Tom. That's mean. Ah, Tom, I had some trouble. Don't tell me you forgot we were fishing today. Come here at once. Sorry, I don't think I'll come. I have some... <laughs> I don't think I'll come. <laughs> wait, wait. I can do this. I can be mature about this. I have some important matters to attend to. Knowing you, I guess you won't change your mind. Oh, he gave up easily. Alright then, just come for dinner this evening. You can tell me more then. Alright, I'll do my best. It's got a very like 80s kind of cartoon vibe. See ya! Ouch, my head hurts. What happened already? I, I think someone was in my apartment. He must have knocked me out. Before reporting to the police, I'd better check and see if anything's missing. I mean, that's a good idea. I'm in the closet. Okay. It's totally empty. I never put anything inside. Maybe that's why. Well done. Oh. These are handcuffs. I don't need them for now. <laughs> Ooh. A carnival mask. So cool. Wearing that, no one can see who you are. <laughs> now what's that belt doing here? I can think of a few reasons. Bjorn. Oh yeah, I remember now. Silly me. Oh, I forgot I had this. A mini vibrating Eiffel Tower. Say, it still has batteries. These could come in handy. Mm-hmm. I'll just put that aside. Yep. That's a lot of tissues. 
<laughs> but the rate I go through them is astonishing. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is something. Some great books I got for super cheap. Only one euro each. I love these things. They remind me of Christmas. Even if I don't like Christmas that much, my parents never gave me any present. Oh, that sucks. They said it was too commercial and that Santa doesn't exist. Ouch. How could they lie to me like that? I mean, they didn't lie. Urgent box. Oh, yes. I put some urgent things to do inside a few years ago. Totally forgot about it. My cousins are very religious. They offered me this. They said it's an angel of beauty and purity. I used to scare I use it to scare away insects. Okay. Wow. I can't stand ties. That awful feeling of having your throat squeezed, suffocating. I put my wallet here. Let's see. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. It's empty. I've been robbed. Cash, credit card, all gone. Well, that shouldn't be a surprise. The thief must have taken it. At least he left my ID card. What a gentleman. Oh, that, <laughs> that is a, quite a picture you have there. Goodbye, shopping plans. Fortunately, I stored some spare money in that cupboard. But where's the key to open it? I don't know. I saw keys to your handcuffs, man. I'm absolutely certain there's something useful here, like a key or something. But I can't see a thing. Okay. That bag is really mysterious. Let's have a look-see. Hmm. Well, after looking inside, I think it's better to leave that mystery alone. Dang, dude. Dang. Got some stuff there. Weird. I heard these things grow in closets, but mine doesn't. Maybe I should have watered it. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I can't pull the curtain back any further. There's nothing interesting behind it anyway. I bet, I bet. Okay, to the boudoir. I rarely use my landline phone. My cell phone has much better sound and it's so practical. Where is it anyway? Oh dear God, this man loses everything. I don't travel with my favorite teddy anymore. I won't take the risk of damaging it. Wow, dude, he gets laid. It's not that comfortable or pretty, but I don't care. When you, when you sleep, you don't notice details like that. Yes, you do. Really nice plates. I got them for 50 magical points at my supermarket. Okay. What the hell? The man, oh Lisa. Yep, this is a man's reconstruction of Mona. It was made by, arti <laughs> by an artist named Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, okay, okay. Some of my childhood workbooks. Why would you keep that? Boring stuff. Yes, very boring. <laughs> I will suck you tomorrow. A self-help book for people who can't stop eating sweets. Uh-huh. Poppy has big boobs. Finally, a book that tells the truth. The Legend of Little John. Uh, tales from next year. It says on the cover to update the book next year to read it. Technology. And it's not even a joke. <laughs> Ecological Dictionary. Hmm. No lie, that's definitely an ecological book. All the pages are blank. Don't waste anything, salvage everything. 
Don't waste anything. Oh, dang, too late. I flushed the toilet. Oh. This book relates the life of a man who never lived. Okay. Boring stories. That title sure makes me want to read it. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. Comics. Comics are fun. I mostly love European comics such as Tan Tan, Anthrax, or Lucky Lake. Now, what are you reading? Take all your stuff and scram. The story of a little boy expelled from his home. Alright. Oh no, it's reset again. Now I'll be late for work every morning. Well, doesn't matter. I'm my own boss. I bet you are. A halberd and a stick. Some kind of weapons, I believe. They came from my antique store. I can't even remember why I brought them here. Hmm. Well, recently I made an advertisement to promote my store. I brought all the stuff here to take a picture so it would look more authentic. Rather handy if I ever have a heart attack. They can just put me inside directly. Yep, we already put you inside, dude. What is that? Oh, it's a flashlight. My flashlight! I had it in hand when I was knocked out last night. I can use it to look at the box. It's only one problem. The batteries are dead. I need replacements. Well then. Yeah. I got the statue a few months ago. Don't know what exactly that bird is supposed to represent, but it looked cool. Hey, wait a minute. There was a tablet on it earlier. I remembered it clearly because it, uh, fell when I moved the statue last week. But I know I put it back. It was a tablet, shaped like a lightning bolt. It's gone, and I don't see it anywhere else. So the thief must have taken it. But why? I'd better tell the police about this. Yep, I guess, I guess so. Anyone home? Mousy? No. Which mouse ever made a hole? I've never seen that before. Oh no, no answer. Maybe died of hunger or something. Oh, filth. You're filthy. Poor little newspaper. Alone and naked on the floor, like the song. And you're not even interesting. Just boring business articles. I guess I'm glad you read. I've gathered all kinds of doodahs in these bags. I don't want to get rid of them, but at the same time, I have no intention of ever touching them again. Order. Order. I don't see any cookies here. Only some clothes and underpants in there. I have to put my briefs elsewhere. Every time I reach up there, they all fall on my head. Oh, that sucks, dude. I guess that's it. Um, let's go inside your closet. I don't know why you have a closet there, but okay. Um, well, you have a torch, my man. Much better. Now I can rummage through this mess. Here's my broken computer, my sewing supplies, a pet petter. Awesome. Here's a flashlight. I needed... Let's just put that back. Aha! I found something interesting. A key. By the way, what does this key open? Dude, you just... You just told me what the key opens. Where the heck is that key again? Oh, dude... Don't gotta pretend and shit. Like seriously, don't gotta pretend. Finally, some money. What's that? Wait, what? That's all? 5.75 euros? What was that? 5 euros, 75 cents? I think they have cents. Um, I thought I had more left. 
And me without my credit card, great. Well, dude, I don't think you have much money anyway. You seem pretty broke. Do you have a bathroom? No. I guess I'm going then. Oh, it's a lady now. Let me work on my lady voice. Oh, hello, Bjorn. Pardon me, but did you hear all that racket last night? Racket? What racket? It sounded like an argument in the hall. Don't tell me you didn't hear it. It woke me up in the middle of the night. Well, not really. I'm a heavy sleeper, you know. I, I, I guess I should ask about herself first. Say, Sandra, what do you do for a living? What the hell? Watermelon seller, maybe a barbecue cleaner. What the hell kind of jobs? This man's high. Pion, I'm a nurse. My job forced me to move to Paris. That's pretty cool job to force you to move to Paris, man. She's pissed. Can you tell me anything more about what happened last night? Well, it was two men, judging from their voices. And? And? Oh, one had a deep voice with a foreign accent. What about the other voice? Let me think. It was rather high-pitched. <laughs> and that that's pretty much all I can remember. Well then. Oh, before I forget, while you're here, can you lend me that book you told me about? Book? Yes, the cookbook. Oh, right, yeah, as soon as I get it, I'll bring it to you. All right, see you later. She wants the D. She wants it. Ah, very big bang theory. Something tells me I should avoid using it, yet yeah, don't say it. Oh no, it's been emptied. Where am I going to find used chewing gum now? A child fell through this opening once. He was found clinging to that pipe. Fortunately, he didn't damage it. My rent would have gone up. I'll, I've never figured out why there are two buttons. Shouldn't one be enough? Is there really any difference between the top and the bottom one? That's actually a good question. No thanks. They said it's going to be a sunny day all day. And my radio broadcast never failed me yet. I don't know why I did that. Nope. Okay, that was stupid. Um, I pressed the key, but it had no effect. I think the keyboard isn't even connected. an ugly cup. Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm talking to you. What voice am I going to do for this guy? <clears throat> Mister, don't insist. Eugene has some hearing problems. Don't insist? What? You mean he can't hear anything I say? Precisely. Awesome. If you've got any questions, ask me. Okay, he's sweating that guy. A photocopier in a police department? Actually, I made a bet a while ago. I will photocopy my butt, yes. I may not get a second chance. Sir? Mister? 
That photocopier is strictly reserved for police staff. Hey, what are you doing? Don't sit on it, you'll break it. Are you listening? What? What? That's horrible. That thing you copied. Um, you copied your butt. I made a bet with someone. I had to. Hands over your head now. I'm sorry, I'll pay for the photocopies I've made. Oh my. You crapped on it. <laughs> I swear, I think this guy is high. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. I thought I'd just fart, but when I let it go, suddenly. <laughs> you're going to jail! But first, you clean up that crap. Oh, please, no! I can't! It's all liquid and it drinks. Yep, I opted for optimal butt humor. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Please don't make me do this all over again. Wow. Okay. Not me, I swear. The wind did it. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to file a complaint for burglary and aggression. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Don't get carried away. First of all, do you have your ID with you? What? You don't even ask my name first? There are two options. If you have your, an ID, your name is written on it. If you don't, any answer you'd give wouldn't be acceptable anyway. <laughs> there you go. Ah, finally. See? That wasn't so hard. Speak for yourself. Let's see. Mr. Bjorn Thonen. Bjorn Thonen. <laughs> Say, your name doesn't sound very French. That's what I said. Listen, I wasn't born in Paris. I'm French. End of the line. Whoa. Don't lose your temper. That was just a little joke. But you're right. These days I don't feel so well. And I'm so thirsty in here. Wish we had an ice cream machine. Anyway, let's not get off track. So, you'd like to file a complaint. One second I'll grab a form. Go on, tell me what happened. So yesterday, okay. And here I am. There, you know everything. Interesting. So now I'll just wait for the ink to dry and then put your complaint into the appropriate file cabinet. Wait, I don't get it. I explained I've been robbed and knocked unconscious and that's all you do? My good man, we receive dozens of complaints about attacks like these every day. Anyone with any sense would understand that we only follow up on the most important cases. Hopefully we'll find your aggressor. With a whole barrel of luck, you mean? Sorry, I can't do more for you. Wow. I'd like to report something important. Yes? You see, I've got a rare statue at home. It's supposed to have some kind of tablet on it. And it's gone. It was there yesterday. Now I can't find it anywhere. So? So? This must be what the thieves were after. They've stolen it. Or maybe you just moved the tablet someplace else. Or it went into the trash when you used a vacuum cleaner. You don't take me seriously, do you? No, I don't. Listen, I'll add this to the complaint file if that's what you want. Yeah, but don't you understand this is no ordinary burglary? Yeah, yeah, if you say so. Wow. Bye bye. Sure, good day. Wow. Something tells me that this doormat serves a specific purpose. 
Mister, you're not allowed to go there. Oh. Well, stealing is bad, murder is better. Wow. You know, I swear I've seen that character somewhere else. Can't pinpoint where or when though. Maybe I'll remember soon. Maybe I chose the wrong career after all. Yeah. Mister, where are you going? Just playing some darts, is that okay? I usually know, but I'm curious how someone so simple-minded would do. Hey, what do you mean simple-minded? Never mind. Let's see if you're better than Eugene. A little concentration, aim, and... There! Whoops. In the wall. That was your first try. Better luck next time. Well then. Some child's drawings. No wait, is that a signature? And there's a message? To my lovely Sarah. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Wow. They're signed Eugene. No doubt. These are the policeman's drawings. Yep. Peeing on the plant is forbidden. That certainly gives me ideas. Yep. You're not loud over there. Hey, what are you doing? What the? Hands over your head now. I said now. But I haven't zipped my pants yet. Well, do it. Quick, put it away. Oh my gosh. You totally flooded the plot. I'm oh, sorry. Couldn't resist the urge. Couldn't find the toilet. Pooping on the printer wasn't enough for you. Hey, you're not supposed to remember that. I can't believe you put that sign on purpose after what happened the last time. Oh, someone did that too. Do the shield then. Come on, move. You pissing pig. So I am gonna eat some donuts.